We do begin tonight with former President Trump found liable for sexual abuse and defamation in the civil trial brought against him by E. Jean Carroll. The jury took less than three hours to reach their decision, ordering Trump to pay Carroll $5 million in damages. Carroll leaving the courthouse today. She had always claimed the incident happened in a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman back in the 90s. The jury was convinced that Trump sexually assaulted her, but they stopped short of rape. The former president did not show up at the trial, so the jury heard the deposition of Trump instead after saying Carol wasn't his type. The moment in the deposition when he was shown this photo and he said the woman on the left there was Marla, his former wife, Marla Maples, but it was E. Jean Carroll. Tonight, the former president calling the verdict a disgrace, saying, I have no idea who she is. And E. Jean Carroll out with a statement, too, just moments ago. ABC senior investigative reporter Aaron Katursky leading us off again tonight from the courthouse. Well, historically, that's true with stars. He bragged in his deposition that stars could get away with sexually assaulting women. But tonight, a jury in New York took less than three hours to find that former President Donald Trump sexually abused writer E. Jean Carroll, ordering him to pay her $5 million in damages. How do you feel? The six men and three women of the jury found that Trump sexually abused Carroll in a department store dressing room in the 1990s, though they were not convinced he raped her as she had claimed. They did agree Trump defamed Carol by calling her story a complete con job, a hoax and a lie, and insisting Carol was not my type. Carol's lawyers seized on that statement, showing the jury the moment in a deposition when Trump saw a photo of Carol and confused her for his ex-wife, Marla Maples. It's Marla. You say Marla's in this photo? That's Marla, yeah. That's, that's my wife. Which woman are you pointing to? No. Here. Carol. Oh, said, the person oh, okay. you just pointed to was oh, Eugene Carroll. Oh, Carroll's team said that moment proved Carroll was exactly Donald Trump's type. And they argued the way he treated her fit a pattern of behavior. Two other women testified he had assaulted them too. And jurors heard Trump's own words on the now infamous Access Hollywood video. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even know it. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Carol's team called that a confession, pressing Trump in his deposition. Well, historically, that's true with stars. It's true with stars that, that they can grab women by the Well, that's what, it's, if you look over the last million years, I guess that's been largely true. Not always, but largely true. Unfortunately or fortunately. Trump, who was repeatedly given the opportunity to testify, never once attended the trial, a decision his attorney defended today. What more could he say other than I didn't do it? Tonight, Trump calling the verdict a disgrace, a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time. His lawyer says he will appeal. So let's bring in Aaron Katursky live at the courthouse again tonight. And we heard the reaction there from the former president, Aaron E. Jean Carroll, also reacting to the jury's verdict just before we came on tonight. In a statement just out now, she says she filed her lawsuit to clear her name and get her life back. And she said, David, the world finally knows the truth. E. Jean Carroll in that statement called the outcome here today a victory, not only for her, but for all women who have suffered because they haven't been believed. David. All right, Aaron Katursky live at the courthouse. Aaron, thank you. One more question on this tonight. Let's get right to our chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl, with us live now. And John, this case obviously uh, very different from what the former president faces ahead. The legal challenges to come at the federal level and in Georgia among them. But you're learning tonight more from uh, Trump's inner circle now, the reaction to this, this jury finding Trump liable for sexual abuse, for defamation, and now ordered uh, to pay Carol $5 million. David, it is another legal setback for Donald Trump, the latest in a long string of losses in court with more likely to come. Trump is reacting with anger, calling it a disgrace and a continuation of a political witch hunt. His legal team says they will appeal. But make no mistake, this is also a political setback for Donald Trump. You now have the judgment of a jury that he committed sexual abuse. Uh, and that case brought back the memories of the Access Hollywood tape, the lowest point uh, perhaps that he has ever had in any of his campaign, where they heard him say again that he believes that celebrities, that stars are able to sexually assault women. And then in this case, he actually added those words, unfortunately or fortunately, you can be sure that whoever Donald Trump runs against, either in the Republican primary or the general election, will remind uh, voters of what Donald Trump said and what the jury said that he did. John Carl with us tonight as well. John, thanks as always.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.